Holy Wiremite here with tutorial 18 in the Lewis series where we're going to be taking a look at making our own con commands as well as running them on the player. So I created the con commands.lua file in the game mode folder and that's just a blank file right now so just to save some time if you want to do that right now I recommend doing so. And then we have it open and next in it we're going to be adding a CS Lua file. So let's add that so we'll put a con command lua and also we shall be including this as well so we'll say con command dot lua all right so or it's con commands not con commands all right so now that we have that included we can go here and let's start making our con commands so first we're going to use the con command library and we're going to be using the add command and where we're going to be naming our command so let's say that we want to create it to where when a player spawns there's a chance that they'll become a super player so they'll get super stats or something like that so uh, we can say super stats and then we can say it's a function which involves player and then we're going to have end so right here in the middle this is going to be what our con command actually does it's going to be the function that we're running alternatively of course you can have a function right here with some name so we'll say like local r funk name and likewise you can put r function right here and that'll work just as fun but just to simplify it I'm gonna keep it like this alright so let's say that we're going to make our super player so we're going to have to set the health the max health the walk speed and the run speed we'll set that to different um, stats so we'll say we'll start him with 250 we'll give them 300 health and uh, they can be twice as fast in their walk speed but their run speed will keep the same so we're going to put player here instead of self and that's going to make our super player so now remember this name super stats because we're going to need to use it when we're calling it and to do that what we do is every time the player spawns we will say after the setup team is done and auto balance and all that stuff um, we're going to be setting it up right here so we'll say math or we'll say local chance for you to become this player we'll say math random and we'll say maybe 1 through 100 so it can be any number from 1 through 100 now after this number has been selected we want to do a conditional check and say if chance is greater than for example let's say 25 so you have a 75 percent chance to become a super player so or actually know what we'll do 50 just kind of keep it even all right so then we'll say player con command and then we will use super stats which is the name of our con command in con commands .lua. all right so now we can go inside game and let's give this a run all right, so we're in game and I just spawned with 150 health as normal. So let's see if we can trigger the other events where we have a 50% chance, or just about a 50% chance. There it goes. Now we have 250 health. My walk speed is doubled. Run speed's not affected. But uh, that's how you would add a con command for if a player was spawning. Now keep in mind you do not have to be limited and only doing for when the player spawns you can use this con command perhaps uh, chat commands for example like when we use the chat command buddy or the text message or whatever if you recall from the chat command tutorials uh, we can then run the con commands here instead so if you have any questions though or anything that doesn't make sense about this um, feel free to leave some comments below oh one last thing you can also remove the con command so for example, for whatever reason, after I ran it, let's say I wanted to remove it. Um, so we say remove, and we say super stats, and that's how you would remove the con command. So you can run that anywhere else as well, like another chat command or whatever, or um, what have you. So anyway, uh, if you like the content, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.